All right, so first we're going to pop this, and then we're going to pop this, because now we're going to pop Aura of Tenacity, and that's a very, very nasty miracle, radiance, whatever. Hello. How's it going, buddy? I was about to say, you're not right there. Who? 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 Hey. Ow. It's not nice. Poo poo! Somebody's poisoned! Uh oh! Melt like butter! There you go! Let the panic sink in! <laughs> uh, where are you? Where'd you melt? Oh, there you are! There you are! Hello! Boom! Woo! Shit! Oh yeah? Eat that! Run into it! Just run into it. There you go. Melt like butter. GG's mumbo. It's so funny to watch the panic set in after they just start melting. It's so funny. It's like, uh-oh. And they're like, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? And, look, and like the panic just sets in and they, they just like... They have no idea what the hell to do. They start running all over the place, you know, making irrational decisions. It's like, bruh, I'm here to do PvP. I'm not here to keep going through the game multiple times or whatever. Like, once I go through it once, like, that's pretty much it. You know, we're, we're, we're pretty much done after that. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Lords of the Fallen video. If you guys are new to my channel, I am God's Chosen One. And for those of you guys that are returning, you guys are amazing as always, man. So, before we jump into the specs of the build and see what we are rocking and all that good shit, let me make a side note here. The footage that you're about to see in the video is pretty old. It's actually, I think, around the second month the game came out. So like the second month it was, you know, it, it had already been released is where this footage came from. So do keep that in mind. You will see some rubber banding and shit like that. And also another thing to note is that I did not upgrade my weapons because at the time nobody knew exactly how the weapon matchmaking worked in this game for the invasions. So I played it safe and I did not upgrade them because this build in particular is really low level. However, I can confirm that I don't think that weapon matchmaking is a factor, at least currently, in uh, Lords of the Fallen's invasion system. And the reason why I say that is because a bigger, you know, a bigger content creator was streaming this game, and I noticed that he was like level 10, in, around like level 10 or, or 15, something like that, and he had plus 10 fully upgraded you know, ruined out weapons. And he kept getting people at the very beginning of the game. You could tell they were at the very beginning of the game because they're loadouts and things like that. Also, for me, I just don't find that enjoyable. That's like me pretty much playing Demon Souls Remake or original DS1 with fully upgraded weapons and invading in like the Undead Burg or invading at, you know, Stone Fang Tunnel or even like DS2. You know, low soul memory, fully maxed out gear, invading at, you know, Forest of the Fallen Giants, you know, things like that. Or even Bloodborne with, max, you know, do, maxed out Doomsday fucking, you know, gem fucking weapons. It, it's not fun, you know. I'm in it for the enjoyment. I'm in it for, you know, the engagement. I'm not in it to get a W and pretty much play load screen simulator that being said let's jump into the build see what we are rocking in the right hand we are rocking the fungus encrusted pickaxe uh it gets a cc scaling and radiance and inferno 107 attack power uh and 150 poison buildup now another side note is that i did not have a second fungus encrusted pickaxe and i was not about to go farm with this low level guy 
So, yeah. I, I, I did not want to go farm for another one. It was such a pain in the ass. But uh, in the left hand, we are rocking the Precision Hammer, which gets a D- scaling and strength and agility. Uh, attack power sitting at 94, 80 poison buildup. There's really no reason to choose the Precision Hammers over the Fungal Encrusted Pickaxe. Uh, the only thing that the Precision Hammer has over the Fungal Encrusted Pickaxe is that it weighs... Right here, look at the weight. The Fungus Encrusted Pickaxe is 7.6. Precision Hammer, 7.5. That's all it has, really. At least with no rune slots. I don't know what rune slots each one of these have. Maybe the Precision Hammer has better rune slots than the Pickaxe. I do not know. However, from, you know, zero upgrades and no rune slots whatsoever, the precision hammers are just completely outmatched by the pickaxe. So there's really no using, you know, no, no using. There's really no reason to use the precision hammer, okay? For our catalyst, we are rocking the Nahuta Effigy. It gets a D minus scaling and radiance and inferno. For our spells, we are rocking Umbral Orb, Lingering Despair, Aura of Tenacity, which is great because it boosts our defense and it slowly depletes our mana bar. So do keep that in mind. You will need to have large mana stone clusters on hand for sure. Uh, poison Weapon, and last but not least, Putrefaction, which this summons the poo poo clouds so it's great and, and i wasn't really utilizing this at you know the beginning whenever i was using this build but you could actually cast lingering despair and then just basically unlock and put down you know poison clouds all over the place and just fumigate the area and people will either run into the putrefaction or they'll run into the lingering despair eyeballs also this is my ardent penitent build i have like one or two other setups i will show you guys besides the poison you know variation of this setup for our, our armor we are rocking the ardent penitent head cage chest we're rocking ardent penitent torso chains for our gauntlets we are rocking the pilgrim bandages and for our legs we are rocking the ardent penitent loincloth for our pendant, our necklace, we are rocking the miner's pendant, which gives us additional casting slots, a maximum of five actually, and that's great because the Nahuta effigy only gives you three, so this gives us two extra spell slots. For our rings, we are rocking Ring of Radiant Preeminent, Preeminence? I guess that's how you pronounce that. It allows me to cast radiant spells with a non-radiant catalyst. And last but not least, our ring, our last ring, we are rocking the Pusin's Root, which increases the power of our sorceries. For our quick access items, we are we are rocking the Slaughterer's Coagulator, which limits healing in our vicinity whenever we use it. Pretty much nobody can use crosses, the Sanguinarics, to heal, including myself. So everybody is limited to using Bryostone or Heavenly Vials. I choose Bryostone because I like the challenge. Again, like I said earlier, I like the challenge of the invasion. I want to see some engagement. So instead, I choose to use Bryostones, which are essentially kind of like life gems. Speaking of which, Bryostone Trio and Large Mana Stone Cluster, of course. Got to have that if you're going to be rocking Aura of Tenacity. And last but not least, Purifying Bomb, which cures all status ailments and provides temporarily, temporary, sorry, resistance to all status effects. Our stats, we are level 27, strength is sitting at 13, agility is 13, 9 endurance, 13 vitality, 16 and 16 in radiance and inferno. Here's my character sheet, stats, specs. If you guys want to pause the screen, go ahead and do so now. Get a more in-depth look at my build. For our tanks, we are rocking the Charred Lord for the head. For our chest, we are rocking the Devastator tanked. 
as well as our wraps. We are, rock we are rocking the Devastator as well. And same thing with our leggings. And also, I think I chose the Condemned Starter class for this build. Anyways, guys, that is the build. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Hope you guys find it helpful in some kind of a way. And I will catch you guys all in the next one. Peace! Let's find out what happens here. Uh, did you disconnect? Kind of fool. What? I can't even use my shit. I can't use my catalyst. It won't let me. Yep, disconnected. Nice. Hell yeah. You have a butt buddy and you disconnect. What kind of shit is that? See, that's just... I, I don't get that one bit. I really don't. It's like, why are you playing online then? If you don't want to be invaded. Oh, but I want to play with my friend. Okay, but there's repercussions to doing that. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Ooh! Eat my doo-doo. Nice! Eat the doo-doo, white zombie! Yes! Woo! His connection's ass! I'm running! Oh, I'm dead! He's also cheating, apparently. Look at this shit. He also seemed like he's, like, very over-level, too. Well, his butt buddy's like basic bitch, uh, starter class, you know what I mean? Poison, bitch! Ooh. Get him, little creature. Get his ass. Need to use another one of these. <sighs> All right. Let's have some fun, yeah? Oh, God, his connection. Jesus, he's rubber banding me all over the damn place. Fuck. I'm dying. I'm gonna die this time. There's no way I'm not. This connection's ass. Woo, shit. Yep. Woo. We're running our asses off. Pop this. Pop this. Pop this. <laughs> Uh-oh. Pop this. Woo, shit. Oh, shit. The rubber band. No. Get his ass. You shit net bastards. As soon as he went in the umbral, all hell broke loose with this connection. It just went straight to shit. Straight to shit. The rubber bands just started just flinging themselves all over the damn place. I'm like, oh, cool. Nice. Oh, jock, sir. Well, I'm going to pop this. Hello, how's it going? Don't attack me. I don't know. Why? Why, sir? Why do you want to hit me for? 
Why? Just eat that shit. You know what I mean? Like, oh god. That, that, that good no! no! That damage. I was not ready for that damage. I thought I was, and then I didn't want it. Holy shit, he's skippy as hell. Yeah, I thought I wanted the problems, but apparently I didn't. Hello, Divine Logic. What's what's so divine about your logic, son? You like doo doo? Is it in your, within your comprehension of your logic? Mm -hmm. You like doo doo? I hope you like doo doo. Hey, that's not nice. Your connection's ass. Look at you, Skippy. Look at that, Skippy. Come here. Come here, Skippy. Come here, Skippy. Oh my god, the skippiness. Jesus. I gotta heal. Alright, if you wanna play it like that, here we go. Yeah, try to run away from this shit. There you go. Now that I've got your attention, do you actually want to fight now? I hope so. Are you ready to die? Are you ready to die? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Whoop that ass with melee combat at the end, Divine Logic. That's so logical. GG's, good game. Uh-oh. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Look at their names. You can tell they're butt buddies. Dark shot. Dark shot. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Poo poo. Ooh. Poo poo. That's not nice with the fireballs, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's poison. I think somebody's about to melt. Oh god! The connection to Riverman! No, I'm melting! What kind of horse shit was that? Get fucked, by the way, you potato net son of a bitch. What kind of fucking rubber band horse shit was that? Shadow Sapper. I don't know if that's edgy or uh you know, lame as fuck. I'll let everybody... Oh, yep, that's lame as fuck. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before you go, before you go, hold up. Take this. You forgot this. Your, your vigor will be right there, son. There we go. Yes. Yes. Melt like butter. Melt. There we go. There we go. Oh, a little 
host, your AFK friend's dead. Where are you? Oh, you tried to slip past me, didn't you? Come here, Frodo. Come here, Frodo. Come here, son. Come here! You're not gonna get him, that's the thing. Nice! Good shit, my guy. No, you can't get him. Stop it. Just melt. Melt. <laughs> ah, he tried to pick his butt buddy up, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, GG's good game. I've got you now, Jimmy. Pick me up. Pick me up.